Good day, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world. We are still tying dead eyes and shrouds. Let me give you a little update on how I'm doing it. With these laser cut dead eyes. I'm going to sand off that little burr. From the joint and the laser cut. <clears throat> and I want to grab this with my tweezers. So that the middle hole is facing where the knot's going to be. Clamp it up in the vise. A little bit hanging out here so I can get glue to attach to the dead eye and the rope. And I've got three or four different ways to do this obviously I don't want to try to do it on the ship especially with this choker I got to put on there get my glue to come out here so I'm getting some on the middle of the knot and the edge of the dead eye there with a rope grabs it pull that tight again and I've got a alligator clip with a big weight on it over here so I can put pressure on that string so now before I Pull this tight and close it up. I got to get some of my choker thread. This is going to be long enough to do the lacing of the dead eye and the choker on the shroud. A simple granny knot here with like two thirds of the length of it for the lacing and one third for the choking. So I'm ready to close that up. I want to pull my alligator clip over here, get that semi tight, not real tight. Then I put this little clamp on there, and that's going to hold the tail of the shroud. And then pull this knot tight, and there's some of that glue there. And the tail that's going to be for lacing, I sort of trap it in the vice handle and then I want to add some glue the estimated length we're using this as a gauge to wrap it so get our wrap started here and now I want to pull this alligator even tighter so that rope doesn't roll while I'm wrapping it. The shroud. And 
and wrap this in length, enough length that I'm close to what that gauge is. So we want to go a little more. That's why you need a fairly long tail for doing this wrapping. So that's <clears throat> long enough for that. And I'm going to use this reverse tweezers to keep that wrap from coming loose. And then do a granny knot here. Pull that up tight. And with all that glue I put on there, we don't have to worry about that knot coming loose. So now we want to cut off the shroud tail. And then just for extra measure, I sort of crush that knot into the glue, making sure Now untie the other tail for the lacing. Take our alligator clip loose. Pull this out of the vise without knocking the rope off of the dead eye. <clears throat> so you can see how that tail is laying either one side or the other of the dead eye. Whatever side it favors, that's the one we want to run the rope through right in that first hole it's next to where it's favored. If I could stop shaking, there's glue on my tweezers. Oop. So now that's ready for install on the ship. And I just noticed here there's a little glue in that middle hole. I want to clean that out before it's stuck to my finger. I want to clean that out before we go up there on the ship. We don't want our string hanging up in that glue. Okay. So now let's reset our camera here. A little higher. So you can see. See that first crow's nest there, yep, okay. So now I'm just getting a guesstimate of the length I need, length I need to tie. Not up top here on the crow's nest. I gotta get that through and then back down again. And I wanna stay progressively as I tie more knots, I wanna keep the first one all the way to the back, and then as I tie more knots, it slowly goes toward the front and they stay separated. So I got like 
maybe eight, ten millimeters in that opening. And that'll account for all the other ropes that gotta come up through there. So this position here. We want to take and get a knot started underneath where the slack is here and poke that tail up through so I can grab it. here and before we pull that tight we got to get our template on there so <clears throat> insert the template in the bottom bit eye And with the rope coming out of the front, I'm going to hide this spot in the back. And stick the template through where the rope comes out in the front. And get this knot to pull up near the top of the crow's nest so it doesn't pull tight underneath. So I'm pu pushing the head of the knot up away from the bottom down here. And you can see there was a gap there between those two. So I want to close that gap up too by pulling this knot over as far as I can toward the back here. And then put a lot of pressure on it. Use this counterweight to keep it tight. And then put the glue to it. And we'll just leave that counterweight on there <clears throat> for three or four more until we get ready to cut them out of the way. And we'll cut the tails off. So now this is the snugness that we want and now we can adjust that tension that's on the bottom dead eye to roll it to the position we want so our rope is coming out the front right we're going to go back in the front right Now we're in the back, so we got to go in the back of the middle hole in the top. And now we're in the front, so we're going to go in the middle hole in the bottom. And now we're in the back again. It's easy to get these confused. Front, back which hole to go in so take your time that way they'll all be straight up and down three ropes in a row looking neat get this through the front of the last hole down here I'm trying to visually check to see if I'm close to the same height as the other dead eyes there. And I'm pulling on this tail to take the slack out of there. You can grab one of these ropes in the middle and go up and down and you'll feel it tighten up. So now with that snug where I want it, grab it with these grab tweezers and 
And we got to get a, a knot down here. We'll choke around that bottom of the dead eye where that wire is at. And I'm just visually checking to see if that is a knot. Sometimes you just get a loop and it's not a knot. To get it close and then pull my tweezers out. My glue is not coming out. It's in there. There it comes. You gotta squeeze this bottle so hard. Get any glue to come out. And I've been trying to add a little bit of extra glue down in the hole that that brass wire is coming up through. And <clears throat> when that dries, that'll help keep this dead eye in that front facing position and won't twist on you later on. Cut that without cutting something I'm not supposed to cut. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six on this side. I'm gonna do one more over here. And then we turn the ship around and do like three or so over there. <clears throat> so, in fact, we still got enough room. We'll sit down and tie another one. Okay, I gotta cut that tail there. Well, I just finished the last one on the port side. So now I got six more to do on the starboard. They're not perfect. This one here is a little too high. So is the first one, and that one there, and then while I was finishing this one here, I'm working from left to right, and while I was finishing that one, I broke this one off where the copper wire hooks onto that bracket. Oh my gosh. So, <clears throat> I took some of that real fine stainless steel wire. I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. I think this came in the HMS Bounty Kit. I used it quite a bit. But this is almost small enough you can barely see it once you get it out by itself. And you can see there I went through the bottom hole in the dead eye because I couldn't get underneath the copper where it went around there. It was too tight. And then I just hooked it onto the strap underneath and tied it off down there so it's not too visible and we saved the day without having to rebuild the whole thing from scratch save a lot of time rather so port side main mast is done now I gotta finish the starboard side and then we got some crow's nest bracing to do. 
that'll look really cool when we get done I think we got to do that on all three of the main crow's nests yeah that's what these pieces are here that'll mount on the edge of the crow's nest and then these pieces here will be like a there's a name for that but I can't remember what it is but a whole bunch of ropes go through it sort of like a big block and tackle but got like 10 holes in it so we're looking forward to that once we get the main mast done on the other side and I'll use a piece of this graph paper when we do the rat lines to uh, help keeping that bottom line on the graph paper level with the bracket there that holds them all you can run your right lines using that graph line get your spacing right you know if you go every other one or if you go every one I don't know I gotta count how many there are when we get to that point from the bottom up and then see if we can use the lines on the graph paper I think on the San Juan we went one and a half lines of the graph paper but that helps it stay straight while you're going up and keeps each one of your knots that you tie at the same spot across there which is hard to do if you ain't got something to go by so that's a little trick I've learned to this piece is faded but I'll use a fresh one when we get to that point and that helps you see from the camera view the uh, work that we completed this week in the main mast port side shrouds and dead eyes and a few on the starboard and we'll finish them up next week Thanks for watching.